ten thousand dollars per month will change your life but it comes with some things you don't expect and that's what this video is all about and by the way that obviously wasn't a real ten thousand dollar bill that is indonesian money and i think ten thousand indonesian rupiah is something like 70 cents but it will look good in the intro of this video and it will increase the retention <laughs> i crossed the ten thousand dollar a month barrier basically exactly a year ago at this point and i've made money online for a while i've done it with a big youtube channel i've done it with a small youtube channel the one you're watching it on the video you're watching right now i've done it with high ticket products that sell for over five hundred thousand dollars i've done it with low ticket products that sell for ten dollars i've done it with an entertainment youtube channel i've done it with an educational youtube channel i've been round the block i know the online space pretty well at this point and hitting ten thousand dollars a month was a very very big deal for me because when i was growing up i come from a polish family i'm actually 100 percent polish and the income in poland isn't particularly good so my family moved to the uk when i was just four years old and we weren't particularly well off in the UK either. I grew up around my mum. Basically, we were penny pinching my entire childhood. My mum, she would brag about, you know, being able to find a brand of ketchup for cheaper than she could find it in another shop. She was really happy when she came home from her food shopping and she managed to get like something for 50% off. Like, oh, the meat was about to expire, but we can freeze it, you know? We can freeze it and it will last longer and we've just saved like $5. That's the kind of life that I had growing up. And we weren't, like, I had everything I needed. It's not like, you know, we didn't have electricity or anything, but we were, we were pretty low down. We, I was in social housing and all of this. So when I hit $10,000 per month, it was a big deal. When you hit this number, of ten thousand dollars everything that isn't a car or your rent becomes effectively free if you need to get a taxi somewhere you don't even worry about the cost anymore any food you don't really care you just put it in your basket you don't count up the cost anymore there's this shop in the uk called marks and spencers and everything in that shop is really high quality it's like only local uk produce only from marks and spencers and everything there is like two to three times more expensive in some cases. So in the past, getting lunch at Marks and Spencer's for like $20 was like a, I, it couldn't, I wouldn't even imagine doing it. I'd be like, that's such a waste of money. Like, why do people do that? But now I go, if it's like the shop that I'm around when I'm hungry, I just go and I get the lunch at that shop. It's a really silly example, but stuff like that, it's not a big deal anymore. You don't even look at those low ticket items, the prices of them anymore. But even things like if your laptop breaks down and you need to get a new one, not a big deal. I found a mic that I really liked the other day on the internet, this one, and it's $150. And I just impulse bought it. Not a big deal. Things that you might have in the past had to financially plan for, you know, like getting this mic, you know, you're going to figure out if you can afford it or getting a laptop, you've got to figure out if you can afford it. That stuff, it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. You can, if you want it, you can just get it. And if you get to $10,000 a month with an online business, it also gives you location freedom. And 10,000 is a really cool number because it lets you travel pretty much wherever you want and not really care about the costs too much. I spent four months in Thailand at the start of this year. I'm now in Bali for two months, coming back home for Christmas in two months, and then right after Christmas, I'm coming straight back here. Stuff like that doesn't become a big deal anymore, and you can afford it pretty easily. It's actually cheaper than living in your home country in most cases if you're from the US or Europe. And being able to travel like this, I mean, in Bali, there's so many digital nomads, entrepreneurs, people with online businesses, the networking opportunities in places like this 
are crazy. I've met so many people here now. And that lifestyle that a ton of entrepreneurs portray on Instagram to get more sales of their product, you can live it too. And I tried it at the start of this year. I had a villa in Thailand. I think I dropped, I think it was around $400 on a pair of sunglasses because I had never spent that kind of money on something like that before. Growing up, that shit was unheard of. I would spend like $5 on a pair of sunglasses and $10 was quite a big amount to spend. So being able to spend $400, just that, for that one off, it felt pretty good. But to be honest, I tried it. I tried that lifestyle for two, three months. I don't really feel like I need it. Just in two months, I feel like I've had all the experience of it that I need. And I don't, I'd rather reinvest the money right now, to be honest. It's a fucking pair of sunglasses. <laughs> like shit like this, you enjoy it for like two weeks and then you realize it's just empty. There's nothing in materialism that inherently satisfies you in some deep way. You just think the entire time that you're making this money that it's gonna make you happy, but then you live it for a few weeks and 99% of the time you're done. You don't need it anymore. That's not to say I won't rent a villa or buy expensive stuff ever again, but right now I don't feel like I need it. Another benefit of getting to $10,000 is that you can finally afford the help of the top, top people in the industry. I mean, the people that have the best, like most, the most successful businesses, the richest guys in the space, in the finance space, they charge like $30,000, $40,000 to work with them. So you are finally in the position to be able to actually save up for that reasonably, right? And also, if you're currently on like $0 a month, $500 a month, $1,000 a month, the help that those people at the very top of the space can give you isn't actually as good as if you came to them already being on $10,000 a month because you're already clued into the space, you kind of know what's going on and there's a better base for them to build off of with you. And by the way, I couldn't possibly talk about this without talking about my own program. So to make your first few thousand dollars per month in just a few months from now, click the link below and I'll personally help you do that. On to the rest of the video. When you reach this level of $10,000, you are also finally in the position to really be able to help your close, like your loved ones and people around you out. Like paying for dates is not a problem anymore. If your family's in trouble or a relative's in trouble, you can just give them $500. It's not a problem to fix the problem. Stuff like tipping people. I had a haircut the other day and my barber was called Pian. We had a lovely conversation. And in Indonesia, these people, they do not earn a lot of money. So I was in the position where I could leave him a pretty high tip, like higher than he'd earn in like multiple days of working because I'm in this position of earning $10,000 a month. It opens a lot of doors as well. I mean, people, it's a bit like being jacked, right? People that wouldn't have given you any attention before now magically want to talk to you. It's the same when, you know, if you mention to people in a social gathering that you're a YouTuber, people all of a sudden, their eyes like light up and they want to hear all about it. And in the same way, having muscle is a bit like a rite of passage. People can tell that you've put in the work and they naturally respect you more because of that. It's the exact same thing if you have a successful business. People just respect you more because it took work to get there. It takes oftentimes multiple months at a minimum, if not years of work to get to $10,000 a month and people know that you have done it. But perhaps the biggest positive of making $10,000 a month it's literally nothing to do with the money. And it's that you will not be the same you when you get there. When you go from $0 a month to $10,000 a month, you will be a completely different person. I'm way more disciplined. I'm way more confident. I've got a ton more life experience than I otherwise would if I just stayed in a job. I mean, I'm still only 24, so I've not got that much life experience, but I have matured way quicker than I otherwise would have. There's a ton of mental benefits that are 
probably more valuable than the money itself. Hello, it's a few hours later. I just got back from the gym and spent a few hours in the barley sun, and I don't know if you can see the <laughs> sunburn on my nose. But anyway, making 10k a month is very nice, and I've just told you all of the positives, but there is some negatives that you need to consider. And the first negative, and I remember being, you know, little 21-year-old Brian with a hell of a lot less life experience than I have now, even though it's only been three years. I remember watching all these millionaires on social media and they would say, money doesn't solve all of your problems. And they kept saying that and I was like, shut up. You've got millions of dollars in the bank and you're telling me that money won't solve all of my problems. You don't know what problems I have. Money will make me, money will solve all of my problems. Thank you very much. And that didn't happen. <laughs> you still need a social life. If you are an introvert, but you're a millionaire, you will still be depressed. You still need to take care of your health. If your health is bad and your diet is bad and you don't exercise, even though there's 10K coming into your bank account every month, you will still feel like shit every day. And I don't mean like physically, your mood, internal state will also be shit. I remember thinking that I had this internal state when I was, you know, still very broke, right? And I used to think that that internal state would completely flip around if I just got to $10,000 per month. But you need to realize that that doesn't happen. You need to start working on changing that internal state now, because if all you ever do is try to make money and you don't care of, don't take care of any of, of the other parts of your life, you will still be miserable when you get to that amount of money. Another thing, other people from your social circle, maybe people that <clears throat> you went to school with and you have something to prove to, they won't suddenly think that you're God's gift to the earth if you start earning $10,000 a month online. I used to think, like, I used to have this very bad mindset. I used to be very egotistical. I would think I'm better than everybody else and they're all gonna, like, cheer for me when I make all this money and I'm gonna show them. But in reality, you get there and no one really gives a fuck. Your high school bully isn't gonna come up to you on the street and beg for your forgiveness on his knees. People aren't gonna suddenly, when you hit that magic number of $10,000 a month, people aren't gonna throw you up and cheer for you. People care way more about themselves than they've ever cared about you. So do not do it for them. Always just do it for yourself. Just like right now, making money is you in your room with your laptop, watching YouTube videos, researching how to do it, and then taking some action. When you're on 10, 20, 50, $100,000 a month, it's still gonna be you in your room most of the time, just taking action and researching. Another thing, when you get to $10,000 a month, you suddenly have something to lose. Suddenly you're a little bit stressed in the background. What if this month, I don't hit my sales targets. What if I get back to where I was before? In online business especially, there's these like two week periods where you feel like the world is ending and everything's over and you're back to square one. And then two weeks later, you have literally like a record two weeks. You've never made more money in a two week span ever in your life before. You are gonna have to get used to this stress of like potentially losing everything, which won't happen unless you literally like give up and stop doing everything. But be aware that that stress, it will come and you will have to learn how to handle it. And with that stress also means responsibility. You're gonna have a lot more responsibilities. Right now, I have to hop on client calls. If I don't hop on the calls that my clients have booked, I'm fucked. Like I need to hop on those calls to provide the value. Otherwise my business is gonna fall apart. Same thing with the steam game that I have. If there's like a fire in, in like the, if you're a software developer, if you're coding, there's like fires you have to put out, right? Something goes really, really wrong. I have to be there to fix that. Otherwise my game is gonna have a really bad reviews and people won't want to buy it anymore. Responsibility. Anyway, as always, if you're sick of your current situation, like I was three years ago, and you just want a way out, I can give you that way out. If you just put your trust in me, and I appreciate it is a lot to put your trust in someone, but if you want to take the leap, 
I won't let you down. Click that link below if you're ready to work with me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.